every time. People are just like, record when you get on. It'll be okay. Let's jump in here and see what kind of mess we're into now. We've been expecting you. I'm a little bit scared. What's outside of this wall? <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Oh, it's a puffer fish. Oh, that's fine! Th that's awesome! Morality, I don't know what that means. But it looks awful tasty. Let's go ahead and put this thing in our inventory. Even after that intro, Captain Irony told me to log in on the server because he had left a surprise for me at my base. And I believe I logged out at my base. So let's see what's going on here. Uh... Oh... <laughs> you, uh... You cleared out every... You cleared out all of the water pockets. Oh my god, dude. You shouldn't have done this. Oh, a good thing I have feather falling. Did he do? Did he do the ocean monument as well? This is insane. <laughs> this is crazy, dude. You, you really didn't have to do this. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> it feels really off to me right now. This is this is insane. Ah, oh, so there is some signs. What's going on here? Pancake. Happy birthday, Waffle. Cake bling and Fran for you. Oh, thank you so much, Captain Irony. That makes me feel so good, man. <laughs> oh, you even left some cobblestone. How nice. So thank you, dude. Oh my god, he's even gave me a diamond block. What the heck? This guy is rolling! Jeez! Oh, he's got another sign, I think. Happy birthday, break time. While you slacked, I did work. Cap. <laughs> Thank you so much, Captain. That's crazy, dude. Now I can really get together this project and start doing some building. Should be really fun. Man, that's incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Awfulsick. Welcome back to The Way Zone, Season 4, Episode 7. What a beautiful llama there is behind me. He's puking up a lake, though. Not sure how pleasant that is, but man, what an incredible build. Good job on this, Canelia. Think it looks neat. I Oh no, phantoms. Get inside, get inside. There is a secret entrance into a crop farm. Ooh, yes, a community farm. We needed a place to plant, a place to harvest, and this provides it for us. I was going to do a similar build to this. It was going to be a Savolvard seed bolt. Uh, inspired build, but... Canelia got to it first, and I am so happy because this is such a beautiful design compared to what I had planned. Those phantoms, I swear. I, I hate phantoms. Do I have an arrow? Yes. Let's take these guys out, because I am sick of hearing all this noise. Guys, you're going to have to die real quick, just, or I can just run away. That might be better. Ah, yes. Phantoms perish. Oh, that is very satisfying. So, I was going to do that seed vault right here next to Buildmonger Shop, and covered it up. I got it ready on stream and everything. Look at this. I uh, had a little elevator going into this area. A nice little drop zone. And this is going to be a seed vault, but I might transfer this into a different project since that has been taken. But I'm not going to be messing with it today because Captain Irony had done all of that clearing over at the Ocean Monument project. So I want to get that completely cleared today, get it out of the way, maybe even start work on a guardian farm. That way we can have some materials to sell at spawn. Now I doubt I'm going to be doing a time lapse because I've been doing a lot of those this season. And this episode, I want to focus on the building process. Honestly, after arriving to base, maybe a mining time lapse would be satisfactory when it comes to removing all of the structure and sand walls. And then we could do the build process on the farm. That just sounds a little bit more realistic. But check out all these chests. I'm ready to go, and I've got haste 2 active so I can insta mine this stuff. Well, with efficiency 5, hopefully. Is this efficiency 4? No, this is all good to go. We're ready to mine this bad boy out. We'll have plenty of space for the guardian farm, so let's go ahead and get started on this.
god, look at all the space we got for this guardian farm. I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna go all the way down to bedrock level to work on my Victorian city build. And I have a feeling this is going to be the centerpiece of the base, but I'm gonna really focus on base verticality rather than expanding into the ocean. Now that's not to say, I might do some tunnels connecting from the walls into different segments of the base, but for now, I am planning just to keep it in this area. It's plenty of space, it's huge enough, and today marks my first day back from my two week vacation. Guys, thank you so much for wishing me a happy birthday and wish me a good break. Had a great time. It was nice, some good time off. I'm excited to be back because I missed content creation and you guys, obviously. But on my time off, I had worked on a creative design for my Guardian Farm concept. So let's jump over to the creative world and check that one out. Ah, and here she is in all of her glory. Man, worked on this for a few hours one day. Yeah, I was pretty proud of it. No, it's, it's actually really simple. And I cannot say it's the most efficient design, but uh, every guardian that does spawn in this water pit will get killed. So that's good. We're not missing out on any guardians. And you might not notice this, but there is a barrier block between the water and that stone block. Just that way you can see easier inside the design. Obviously, whenever I get around to it on the waystone, I will not be using barrier blocks. But it's just simpler to see. I've measured out some stuff, so you might see some blocks scattered about. You know, just doing some measuring. And all the guardians come to the top. They are dispersed from the centerpiece and flow into the lava system. And that drops them into the hopper chamber where they will die and it will collect all their good stuff. And then I can craft that into awesome blocks. And I could sell those awesome blocks, make a gratuitous amount of diamonds, and then could blow them at Captain Irony's shop. Now, this was probably about 15, 20 minutes, I think. Is it that fast? That doesn't sound right. Feels like I've been on here for about 30 minutes or so. Fill up a double chest. But man, I like it. I mean, it's simple. It's not very pretty, but it is functional and it could fit well in our theme of a time machine. I could build onto this, make it look like a gun or something. But yes, just bring them blocks up and then kind of dispersing those into the corners and then just drawing them out. So now this isn't the waystone copy. This is just some random monument. So don't worry. There's no land masses around my base or anything like that. Well, there is one. And I have some plans for it. But uh, I haven't come up with a storage system. This should work, though. I really like how you can see the guardians perish. It's kind of a nice touch. Over the two weeks, I didn't check my mailbox, and I got some nice stuff for my birthday. So thank you, Pixel Brewer. Thank you were part of that. I don't know who else dropped stuff off. I got 16 eggs, of course. But I got four diamonds, and I've got two boats, and I've even got two hoes. So I got boats and hoes, and it says, Happy belated birthday. So thank you so much, Pixel Brewer. Thank that was you. Appreciate it. Whoever sent me that cake, very nice of you. So got pancake. I need to put him up somewhere. But very fine. Very fine. I just collected some gravel. So that I can make some colored concrete. So I think I'm going to go with... I think I'm going to go with concrete. Would terracotta be better since it has texture? Hmm. I, I think if I'm going for a time machine, I'm going to use concrete. It just seems to make more sense. And yes, I got a bunch of sand too. I'm going to do either light blue. I, I sort of want to stray away from that because season two of the Waystone, I had done a light blue base. And hmm. I might have to just sit back and get some inspiration for this. It's going to be tough choosing a color scheme. Finally, I'm about to go crazy from freaking mining concrete blocks, man. So many of them. So, decided on cyan. It's a pretty color. It's a very pretty color. A little bit expensive using cactus and lapis, but that should work. Captain Irony Shop. Need some iron for some redstone over at the base. So let's go ahead and get that and a few other essentials as I'm on that way. Captain Irony is definitely the master of irony because I just went over to this iron shop. He didn't have any iron. <laughs> How ironic is that? So I came back over to the base and I began work on the structure, the outer shell anyways. And I couldn't think of anything else that would connect well with that concrete. So I just put in some stone slabs and I think it looks good, but I'm kind of iffy when it comes to stone slabs. Sometimes it looks good and sometimes it doesn't. In this case, it looks okay. I think it'll look a lot better once we get more detail into the structure. And I guess I could place down the soul sand. I gathered so much soul sand, yes. More than it was necessary, probably. Oh boy. I missed one vital thing. This is 1.13. I've got to fill this entire tank with source blocks. 
Oh, I'm about to go insane. I just had to do it the complicated route, huh? Everyone else is doing these, like, non-drain ocean monument farms, and here I am just draining everything, slapping up some walls just to fill it back up again. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. See, the standard method nowadays would be just to put Kalpal across the soul sand and go to the top. And that's the most easiest common method that everyone knows. But there are some other methods, I'm pretty sure, that take advantage of, like, kelp age, and those will grow, and then fill it from the bottom to the top, I'm pretty sure? That's how it works? That's a very reliable method, and this is symmetrical, I think it'll work. See, old designs, you could just do like a platform on the top, go across with the water, and then break those, and then all of your water comes down and fills in. Which I think it would do the same thing, but we wouldn't have the source blocks, and without the source blocks, the bubble column wouldn't be there. Guardians wouldn't go to the top, they'd just be stuck in there, just swimming around. It would be a mess. I gotta say, that white glass looks really good with the cyan concrete. That came out looking well. I didn't expect that to pop. And I wonder what that would look like with connected textures and Optifine. I've got some sand smelting this glass over here. I'm about to go AFK. I've been using this to try to get it done real quick, but... Only made it to about a quarter of the last wall. But hey, we're making good progress, and hopefully we can figure out a method for this. After quite a bit of time, I've gotten this farm to the point where it is almost complete. Got all the fence gating pretty much in. I've got the outer shell in, so I don't have to worry about guardians leaking out of our farm. And I've made an unintentional bat farm. <laughs> a lot of bats are spawning in there, flying around. Hi, Mr. Bat. Hey, how's it going, man? I hope you're uh, having a good time in there. Yes. And the design that has come out, I didn't really intend for this to happen, but it does look Victorian. And I wanted to make this look like a time machine. Well, it's going to be much bigger than this cube. It's going to go way up, and I've got to have a nice base opening at the top for all of my storage and everything. Farms are going to probably be on the way down, but I haven't fully decided on it, so a lot of improvisation. And this system, there's some collection system in. I don't know how reliable a minecart collection system is, but uh, may change it up. And at the top, this is what I have complete. For the most part, we've opened all the fence gates. I've just got to do this layer and try to think of what to do about the water sourcing here because when guardians get up to this point, I don't think they're going to make it to on the top of these fence gates. So I'll have to do an extra layer of water sourcing right underneath the top tier fence gates. That's going to be a pain. <laughs> That's not going to be fun. I've still got to fill in the cube too. Ah, uh, I really don't want to do this, but I have to. It really sucks. That's the one thing that sucks about 1.13 mechanics. You cannot really fill in water sourcing in a certain area, which I don't... Well, you don't need water sourcing to spawn guardians, but you do need it to raise in a bubble column and then shoot them into the sides. Keep forgetting. Keep forgetting. You need the water sourcing. I don't know if it's the water sourcing or the guardians that I dread more, but whenever I finally fill up that cube, evading all the guardians is going to be a rough time. It's going to be really treacherous. Uh, I could despawn them, but they'll just start respawning once I put water in. I mean, for now, we could just admire the view of the bats floating around Batman inside of our farm. We caught him, man. But I think I'm going to put down the project for today because I need to complete the collection system and the water sourcing, and that sort of goes together. I want to do the collection system first, and i got to build another segment of the base, and I thought I'd save that for another episode. So let's go back over the spawn. Let's go to Ranger Tactical to see if we made any cells and check the post office box, and we'll see this thing in action later on. I feel like we got a lot done this episode. We cleared out the monument, and we've built this much of the farm. Definitely need to come back and finish the decor on this island. It seemed I had gotten so far, and then I just kind of stopped the project. I had done the shaping around Ranger Tactical, and then left everything else sort of bland. I mean, we got a nice piece of this structure, heading up to Buildmonger Shop, but really, that's the only other thing that's interesting on the island. Let's see, we made any cells? Ooh, seven diamonds. Nice! We had sold the healer bow. I think the mending bow. Uh, let's see. We have got mending on these? No. Someone had bought that mending bow. I, 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 hmm. Beyond me. I like infinity bows, but let's go over the mailbox, and I was going to show you one more project that has been hidden for the last few weeks. You might have seen it, might have not, but I love it, and I use it all the time. Seems I have exhausted my birthday presents at the mailbox, but I thought I'd come over and show you this Wastone themed Enderman farm done by Narragath. Use this all the time, especially after episodes to mend up all of my tools. But check this out, man. He has done so much work. Look at that Waystone logo. The one down there, and I think even the spawning platform is a Waystone logo. 
Yeah, that's <laughs> so cool. Then all the Endermen come down, you slay them, get your XP, and it's got a really nice dispensing system. Let me show you this real quick. Let's go ahead and kill a couple of Endermen. So that's got a triple dispensing system, I'm pretty sure. So all of these Ender Pearls will come out and get dispensed into the void. If all of these chests are filled. Ooh, fancy smancy. Good job on this, Naragath. You did an incredible job, man. Look at all these Ender Pearls. People have been making use of this thing. Man, that's beautiful. I, I like waystone themed things. <laughs> but I think that's going to be about it for today's episode, guys. Hope you did enjoy watching. We'll see you next episode, and you have a fantastic day.